Cheryl? Lois Decker, how are you doing? Oh, just fine. And you? Good, good. Listen, Cheryl, the reason I'm calling is that it's my turn to come up with a program for this month's Consumer Aware meeting. I know you've done it before, so I was wondering if you might help me out. Oh, sure. I'd, I'd love to. But there really isn't that much to it. All I know is the meeting you worked on, I really got a lot out of it. Oh, Lois, could you hold on a minute? I've got another call. Oh, sure. Hello? Cheryl, I'm glad I caught you. We just finished up here, and I'm going to catch an earlier plane. Uh, great. What time shall I pick you up at the airport? I'll be on United Flight 614 at 730. 614, 730. Got it. Hey, listen, i got to run or I'll miss the plane. I'll see you tonight. Okay, bye, hon. Lois, sorry about the interruption. Now, as I was saying, there really isn't that much to it. Uh, oh, sure. Cheryl, how did you do that? Do what? Answer another telephone call while you were talking to me. Do you have two phones or what? No, we have call waiting on our telephone. Call waiting? It's an incredible service that's offered by the telephone company. What happened is, when I was talking to you, I heard a tone over my phone that told me someone else was trying to call me. But I didn't hear anything. Oh, well, you're not supposed to. Only the person being called can hear it. Anyway, all I did was push the button that goes down when you hang up the phone. That put you on hold and let the other call come through. Oh, I see. Then when we were finished talking, I pushed it down again, and you and I were reconnected. Really? What do you have, a special phone of some sort? Nope. Call waiting works with any kind of telephone. That doesn't sound like you, Cheryl. You don't go in for gimmicks. Oh, believe me, Lois, this is no gimmick. It's a terrific convenience for... Well, like just now, Dick had a minute or two to call before he had to catch his plane. And if we didn't have call waiting, all he would have gotten would have been a busy signal and a long wait at the airport tonight. And that's what's really great about call waiting. We hardly ever miss a phone call because the line is busy. And for example, emergencies or when you're waiting for an important call. We can still use the phone and the other calls can still get through. Sounds like you can have your cake and eat it, too. <laughs> right. And you know how annoying it is when you try to call someone and get a busy signal. Hmm. Call waiting does sound interesting. Maybe I'll call the telephone company about it. If you do, ask them about call forwarding. What does that do? Forward your calls like a letter and then you get them two weeks later? <laughs> no, hardly. What call forwarding does is forward your telephone calls. Let's say you were going out of the house. You simply program your telephone to send your calls to wherever you're going. Your phone's got to be smarter than mine. <laughs> well, like this morning, I went over to my sister's house. Before I left, I put call forwarding into effect. Sounds complicated. No, no, not at all. All I have to do is pick up the receiver, dial 72, wait for another dial tone, then dial the number where I'm going to be. As soon as someone answers at that number, call forwarding is working. Hi, Jean, it's me. You know, just forwarded my phone to yours, and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, bye-bye. And that's all there is to it. From then on until I came home and canceled it, all the calls that were coming here to our house were forwarded over to my sister's. That would mean you don't have to stay around the house to wait for a call you were expecting. And another thing about call forwarding is that since someone always answers the telephone, it seems as if someone's in the house, and that could discourage a burglar. Say, that would be really important when you were out of town. Right. You know, both these services are great values. They really make our phone a lot more useful. Say, speaking of values, isn't that the subject of this month's meeting? Getting the most out of what you've already got? Right, Cheryl. And I'm at a loss to think of someone to talk to us. You don't have any ideas, do you? Mm, let me see. You know, I know of somebody who I think could put together an interesting talk. Anne Morton. She used to be on the Mayor's Consumer Advisory Council. That's right, and she might be glad to do it. One thing, though, her schedule might be pretty jammed up, and this would be short notice. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'll give her a call. Oh, Cheryl, would you, and get back to me? Oh, well, wait a second. Let's get her in on this call. Get her in on this call? You mean all three of us together on the same phone call? Sure. With call waiting and call forwarding, we also have three-way calling. Three-way calling? <laughs> well, it's for situations where it would save a lot of bother if three people could talk together at once without having to make three or four different phone calls to get something straightened out. 
Cheryl, tell me, does your phone also mow the lawn? <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'll get Ann on the line. Okay. Hello. Hi, Ann. It's Cheryl Bobson. Oh, hi, Cheryl. Ann, I'm setting up a three-way call with Lois Decker. She's in charge of this month's Consumer Aware meeting, and we were hoping you might be able to speak to the group. Um, do you have a minute to talk about it now? Sure. Lois, I've got Ann on the line now. Hi, Lois. You're really there. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me, Ann. I can't get over the things Cheryl's phone can do. They're fantastic. There's call waiting and call forwarding and this, um... Three-way calling. Cheryl, did you tell her about speed calling? You mean there's more? What's speed calling? It's a real time saver, to put it simply. When you have speed calling, you assign a special two or three number code to telephone numbers you call most frequently or emergency numbers. Then whenever you want to dial one of those numbers, all you have to do is dial the code and it rings. You're kidding. And you can change the numbers anytime you want right from your own phone. You know, you'd be surprised how much time speed calling saves me. Well, what I like about speed calling is for use in case of emergency. Now, in our house, if we want to call a fire department, we just dial 1-8 and it'll ring. Believe me, it's easier for the kids. They only have to remember two numbers rather than seven. And it practically puts an end to dialing wrong numbers. Now, you know, if we're going to talk about value at this month's meeting, some of the things we should talk about are these new telephone services. They really increase the value of your telephone. There's call waiting. Call forwarding. Three-way calling. And speed calling. I'm going to get them.